I'm here with uh, Christina Nieves, is that correct? Nieves, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Um, who is a youth advocate. So can you tell me, what was your first job and how old were you at the time? Uh, my first job was working as fitness staff and child care staff um, for the YMCA. And I was 16 when I had that first job. At 16, you probably didn't have your license. Were there ever any transportation issues? Yeah, I used to have to walk um, in the summer, in the winter, everything um, from Lyman Hall over to the YMCA, so it wasn't too far. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Where, how did you get your first job? Uh, my friend actually was working at the front desk over there, and she asked me to fill out an application so that we could work together. And I filled out an application, gave it to her, and somebody was actually walking by, one of the directors of the fitness staff, looking for somebody to do bulletin boards. So that's the position I was actually hired for, which then changed several times. So would you say your uh, job wasn't really what you expected it would be? Not at all. I got hired to do the decorative thing, the girly thing, and I was really excited about it, and then ended up working with all the fitness mach machines and cleaning. And then with the child care came, I was happy about, but I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. So what was probably one of your most memorable experiences at the YMCA? Um, when I was in the child care uh, room, I actually was offered a tip from someone who had a baby that I guess wasn't very happy when they were around other people and everything and I was one of the only people who could get her to stop crying and um, to enjoy herself and it was just nice to be a teenager in my first job and being offered like something so nice from somebody although I didn't take it. So being a youth advocate I guess you can say you have to be good with kids would you say that your first job with the daycare at the Y would help um, influence your wants to be a youth advocate? Yeah, I mean, I started off wanting to be a teacher and went to school for that and then did that for a while, but want to get my master's in social work. So working with kids definitely led up to this, but now being a youth advocate, I work with teenagers, so it's a little bit different, but it definitely helped me with my patients and the, the knowledge that I know now that I want to work with youth. So if you could describe your first job experience in one word, what would it be? It would be useful. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the children. I could see that. If you could go back, would you pick the same first job in hindsight? Absolutely. It was something that worked well when I was in school, something that was close by. It was something that I learned a lot from. I got to socialize, and it really worked well with what I was doing in my life at that time and definitely helped me now. So absolutely. That's great. Do you have any um, tips for uh, people who might be looking for their first jobs currently? Always be on time. Don't be afraid to ask questions and always read your handbook of your agency because there are things in there that you might not be told about and things you want to be an expert in just in case anything is to happen. Thank you very much for coming down. Uh, Thanks for having me. Uh,